Okay, this is another video in my series of Chrome OS notebook videos that I have posted up. And this particular device here is the CR48, the Chrome OS notebook from the pilot program from Google. I was one of the lucky few to actually get one of them, and I really like the machine a lot. Uh, it really has a lot of uses for me as just basically a web surfing device. The only thing I would say is that um, this machine is atom powered and when it actually comes into production in about five or six months it would be great if they actually put maybe one of the AMD Fusion processors in there uh, to speed it up a little bit but I really can't complain the machine really does well for uh, web surfing it's a little you know it's a little beta in in certain ways uh, for instance, uh, I tried to do a screencast on this instead of filming the screen here. I wanted to actually do a screencast with this, but I wasn't able to get any of the uh, web-based screencasting programs to work because the Java applet wouldn't wouldn't uh, work with the device as of yet. Uh, but supposedly the the uh, support for that for that will be sometime down the line. So anyway, I'm just going to have to resort to or you know basically stick with filming the screen on here so hopefully you can see everything here. Now the purpose of this video is to show you some of the apps or at least one of the apps in the Chrome Web Store. The app in question is Picnic Photo. Now the reason I'm showing you this is because the uh, netbook here has an SD card reader on the side but um, I can't get it to work really with any other program other than picnic photo that I've come across. I took some pictures on my camera and put the card in the SD card slot and what I wanted to do is I wanted to send the pictures with Gmail. I wasn't able to do that. I'm sure that support for that will be coming at some point in time you know when the when the netbook actually hits the market uh, but as of right now it's not it's not uh, supported other than Picnic Photo. So that's one of the reasons I'm going to show you this program. So I'm going to click this here and Picnic Photo it brings up the Picnic website which is picnik.com picnic.com and right now it's uh, just loading up. So I'm going to insert my SD card that I took all my photos on and put it into the Chrome OS notebook here. Now on the side here on the right hand side there's a little blank where the SD card slot is so you just push it in and pop it out. That's the blank right there. And I'm going to stick my SD card in here. So um, what I want to do here is there's a lot of different options here but I'm just going to show you how I can pull a, an image off of my SD card and edit it in here and actually save it back to the SD card. So I'm going to hit upload photo over here and this is the only way I've actually been able to access the Chrome OS file system is through this website. I'm sure there are other ways, I just haven't come across them myself. Now up here on the side you see, you know, Chronos, the file system of the machine itself, and then disk down here. Disk here is the SD card. And uh, basically, just go down a couple folders in, and here are my pictures. And I think the fourth or fifth one in is the one I want to mess with. So I'm going to go with the fifth one in and upload my picture. Okay, this is a picture I took. Obviously it's winter time right now and uh, there's snow on the ground, no leaves on the trees and uh, I thought this picture was kind of nice. Anyway, what I can do, I have a lot of different options on here and this is free on the web software. So uh, there actually is a premium portion to this site but uh, for my needs I don't do a lot of photos I don't take a lot of photos and I don't do a lot of photo editing uh, so this is actually perfect for my needs now what you can do you have I'll just show you run you through some of the options here you can do an auto fix which kind of just brightens it up gives it a little more more of a, a bright look to it I'm gonna bring it back undo that now you can rotate it left rotate it right you know the drill as far as that goes now you can also straighten the photo in case it's lopsided. Uh, you can, as you can see, it turns the photo and it kind of turns it that way. Or you can just basically reset it. 
Uh, these are some basic options that you can change, but it's, it's deep enough, like I said, for my needs. Uh, your basic crop here. There you go, I can crop it there, undo this. You can resize this. You can put new dimensions in here, keeping the proportions or not keep them so it'll distort the photo. Uh, you can use percentages instead of the actual um, dimensions. Uh, you can do that. I'll just show you that real quick. You can make it smaller, 500 by 375, or just bring it back to the 1024 by 768. Another option on here is exposure. Now you can change the exposure on here, you can increase it, wash it out, or decrease it and make it a little more moody looking. Or you can change the contrast on it too. You can wash it out, or again make it a little more stylized. I'm actually going to keep it like that because it looks pretty cool. Okay, and then uh, you got the colors you can mess with. Color saturation, you can increase it. Or decrease it to black and white. And you can change the temperature on here so you can make it look hot even though it's not so hot. Or bring it more into the blues, bring it down. All right. And let's see, you can sharpen the image. And then red eye. So if you have red eyes, you have the human or fur ball. Uh, so if you have, you know, a person or a pet or something that has uh, red eye in it, you can adjust it there. Okay, you can also add to the picture if you want. I'm going to go over to the Create tab over here. And uh, you can you can use different frames. Uh, you can put uh, a red nose on if you had a, a, a subject on there. I'm just going to uh, check out the effects here. You can do a black and white effect, sepia, boost color, soften, vignette. Your basic, you know, photo editing filters that you can put on. And uh, it's pretty cool because it's all for free and it's all web-based. So that's, that's pretty cool. Now you can also add text to the picture here if you want and uh, you have a bunch of different fonts that you could put here so let's uh, let's find one and add some text let's try relaxing blaze and put some text in here and I put winter tree there and let's see where it goes okay it's right in the center here and I can put it down here Okay, you can put stickers on here. There's, uh, let's see, back to school, wedding icons. I don't think any of these are actually going to go well with my picture here, but let's just put something on there. And here we go, solar system. There we go, we got a smiling little moon up there. Sort of looks like a banana, actually. There we go. It doesn't really go well with my picture, but I'm just showing you this here. Uh, now we got the touch up option here. And that looks like it's a premium option here. So we don't need to go through that. We're just going through the free part of this program. Uh, frames. So if you want to frame your picture, let's see what kind of border we can put on here that will kind of fit with it. Let's try museum map. Okay, that works. That pretty much does it for messing with the photograph here. And uh, what I'm going to show you now, you can just save it back to the SD card. And here we go. So I'm just going to name this Winter. It's going to be a JPG. And just keeping the dimensions there, it's 100%. Uh, JPG, uh, format is JPG, best for most photos. You actually have the option of PNG. GIF, bitmap, PDF, and TIFF file. JPEG compression quality, I'm going to put it at the top. Right now it's 8, but I'm going to put it uh, for the best quality, so it's going to be 10. And right now it's compressing. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save the photo. 
So I'm going to save it back to the disk here, which is the SD card. And I'm going to go down into the file folders here. And I'm just going to save it in here. Again, it should show up as winter JPEG. So I'm going to save it there. And let's see what we got here. It's saved. Now this picnic.com appears to be a site where you can actually upload photos to uh, to it for sharing and also, as I showed you, edit the photos themselves. So I'm just going to show you that it did save to the SD card. Uh, I'm going to go back to upload photo and down here you can see that it saved winter JPG or JPEG. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you next time.